$50,000. I was sitting there thinking, why don't most people have money? Why is it that most people are struggling? Why is it that most people are trying to chase the dollar, trying to get money? And I think I've come up with a reason why most people don't have racks. They're trying to be like everyone else. Hear me out. You need to be financially strange to get ahead. The average Robin Hood account balance is like 3,500 to 5,000. You have so many people who are looking to get financially ahead through hacks, through hookups, through magical methods. And this is the norm. Like one of the highest viewed videos in the personal finance space, which has like 6 million views, is a, vid is a video talking about how to finance cars. How to finance cars, 6 million views. And I'm, I'm just sitting there like, what is it with us as Americans where we don't wanna save money, we don't wanna put money away, and I think it's because everyone that you know is living the same way. I want you to think about this. If you were to go to the mall and just get a bullhorn and go like, hey, everybody, hi, my name is Glendon. Would you indulge me? Everyone that has a car payment, would you step over here? And there would be a massive rush of people stepping over there because that's how many people have a car note. And I would like, for all you folks who have no car notes who pay cash for your car, would you step over here? And it would be a really small crowd. This is the financially strain. I was uh, doing some research today and I was looking and uh, a guy came up and talked about why he did not invest in Bitcoin and he had to be very careful because he had to dance between the raindrops and saying like, I'm not bashing Bitcoin because there are so many people who want to invest in Bitcoin and get that big payday. One of the things that is happening is the world has changed. Because, you know, when I sit down and do my programming for Savage Finance, I come up with video topics that I know before I even post the video that's not going to be popular. Because I'm talking about hard work, I'm talking about dedication, I'm talking about personal sacrifice. Uh, pe pe people don't want to hear that. Now, here is the bad part of all of this. We're going to have a large segment of the population that's not going to be able to properly retire. This large segment of the population is going to need help from friends, family, and the government to make it. This is a coming consequence of the way that society is set up. And this is why I think marriage is starting to come back in vogue because people are starting to do the math and they're realizing like, whoa, I don't want to be 70 years old by myself living in my apartment with a cat. You got to be financially strange. And I'm going to talk about this because essentially with my mandate to create 50,000 corporate citizens, I'm going to create some financially strange people because this will not be the norm in America. There was a guy on YouTube. He said, you know, I was just thinking, how many people have $10,000 cash in savings? And he was like, not that many. $10,000 cash and savings is not a lot of money, but a lot of people don't even have that. So with this path of becoming financially strange, uh, becoming financially odd, becoming atypical, this is the path that you're gonna have to get on because I literally had people fight with me about paying cash for a car or saving for an emergency fund. Let me go ahead and tell you, I used to work with this chick who made less money than I did, but had a greater net worth than I did. She had a house, she had two cars who were paid for, and she had put 50% down on her house. So at that time in history, her net worth 
was significantly larger than mine, even though I made more money per hour than she did. I was making $5 an hour more than she was. But see, she was financially strange. She had a good father. He had a father who indoctrinated in her the habit of saving money. So while she was living at home with mom and dad, she was able to save $60,000, $70,000 before she moved out. This gave her the ability to pay cash for a car. This gave her the ability to have money to do things as an adult would do. And this gave her the ability that when she bought her first house, she was able to put 50% down, get a great interest rate and get a low mortgage payment because she was financially strange. She had cash. Having cash money today is financially strange. Like, you know, paying cash for cars is financially strange. I've got a video that's gonna come up on Savage Finance talking about super credit because one of the burdens of being a content creator is you have to create content that people are watching. Last month, I had a great month and I had several videos that popped. When videos popped, no credit check videos. They went crazy. And the people who were watching the no credit check videos were not interested in developing the sound financial principles to generate wealth and time. Everyone is looking for a quick, speedy solution to their current level of pain. Coming up, like right now, Grain. Grain is a no credit check app that will give you their max amount is $1,000 per person. That's gonna go up in time. And for you Android users, they're gonna have an Android app in 2021 at some time. Why are so many people looking for no credit check? Because their credit is trash. And whenever I bring up stuff like, I remember I had a client that I advised to go to Wells Fargo, who was a business client, but he had really, really good cash flow. But his, his credit was trash. And I said, I want you to go to Wells Fargo and I want you to get the personal Wells Fargo secured credit card. And I want you to get the business Wells Fargo secured credit card. And I want you to go for the max because you have the money. So he went to Wells Fargo, opened up his accounts and he remembered the banker was telling him, I wouldn't do this. See, she couldn't do it. She didn't have $35,000 cash. She could not do that. I remember having a conversation with my, with, with my banker and they were just talking about what they see on a daily basis, that people come in who want loans, who don't have assets, who have no cash flow, who don't have good credit, or they'll see crazy stuff because people don't want to be financially strange. See, when you become financially strange, this is when you begin to accumulate assets. I feel like the stock market is doing some, is doing what, double monkey backflips right now. And I, like I predicted, the stock market was gonna crash like two more times before the end of the year. And we're gonna see another crash in 2021 because what's happening with the lack of government stimulus. The additional $600 per week, the additional $2,400 per month, on unemployment has kept the economy going. If Trump and the, the Republicans manage to hold on to their offices, we can expect to see a lack of economic stimulus. And if the Democrats win the presidency and the Senate, we can expect to see massive economic stimulus. Essentially, we're at a point where no one really wants to do the appropriate thing. If you're in a situation where you have good money management habits, where you have cash in the bank, where you have little to no debt, you are financially strange. You're financially atypical. You are a magnet for the financially irresponsible. One of the situations is that you will have people who will look to use you because you've done the right things. You got racks on racks. All right, what is this? It's 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000 dollars, right? Cash money. Now, you know what percent of the country has $100,000 in the bank? It's less than 5% of the country has $100,000 in the bank. This right here is what keeps me financially strange because I operate on a cash flow principle and I invest in businesses. 
if you want to be in a position where you always have money in the bank, always have available credit, and always have cash money on you, you're gonna to have to enter the world of the financially strained. You're gonna to have to enter the twilight zone because the average person ain't living like that. Listen to an episode of Dave Ramsey to hear what people do with their money. There is a guy who has a trucking channel and his channel is doing really well. And I think he's got like five or $6,000 a month AdSense money, which goes into the savings account of the trucking wife. Well, it was because they just got two new trucks. This is what happens to the average American when they get more money. More money, more spending. It is very financially strange to have more money coming in and not to be spending it. It's financially strange. It's just, you, you just weird, man. You weird. You, wait a minute, let me tell me, you got $100,000 a year coming in and you're only living on 35? What's wrong with you? You should be having $100,000 coming in and living like you got 120, so you, you spend all of the 100 and then you go in debt to the tune of 20,000. Now that's being an American. That's being normal. That's being average. I don't want you to be average. I want you to be financially strained. We've got something that's gonna rear his ugly head in the next 20 to 30 years. We're gonna have a multitude of people who are gonna retire with nothing. Their gas tank is on fumes. They're not gonna have nothing. And we're gonna see if they create some social programs to help these people out. I feel that it's gonna be family and it's gonna be churches and it's gonna be social organizations that's gonna help these people out. It used to be very rare that someone will retire with mortgage debt. It's the norm now. You got all kinds of people, 60, 70 years old, still with a mortgage. That's normal. And what I want you guys to understand is you've got to be part of the counter culture. You gotta move over here and be financially strange. Like I've been trying to indoctrinate you guys for the last 10 years. I want you to be financially strange. I want you to drive a, a car that you actually have the title to at home or in the safe deposit box. I want you to have cash money in the bank. I want you to have little to no credit card debt, but amazing credit because you're not using it. You know this is how the game works. For you to have amazing credit, you need to not be using it. That's kind of strange. You know, when I used to sell cars and I used to sell BMWs, the people who came in with the best credit scores were people who were like 50 years old, routinely. Guy would be 50 something, pull up his credit score, he'd have a seven something beacon, and then you would look at the credit profile and he would have two or three mortgages paid off and he would have a high income. Saw this time and time again, they would have a high income. You know, back when I was selling BMWs, 150 to 200 thousand dollars was a very high income, very very high. Today that's kind of okay. You know, it's still a high income, but it ain't what it was in the 90s. You know, 150 that was like making 300, 400 thousand dollars today. But I want you guys to be financially strange. I want you to be weird. I want you to be weird. And also, when you enter the world of being financially strange and weird, you got to keep your mouth closed because you're gonna be the weirdo in the room. You're gonna be the, the, the strange person in the room. You're gonna be the person with $50,000 cash in the bank. You're gonna be the person with no credit card to debt and you're gonna be the person who's gonna have a car in the parking lot that's gonna be paid off. You're gonna be financially strange like a mofo. And once you start telling the other natives that you're financially strange, you're gonna get a lot of hate because so many people just don't want to change their bad money management habits. They wanna keep living the way that they live and keep doing what they're doing. But for you to get here where you can have 100K cash money, you gotta be financially strange. And to help you with that, this month I'm doing something called a corporate toolbox. It's gonna to teach you how to put your operating agreements. It's gonna teach you how to set up your legal entities, create a holding company structure, and create two to six different companies and use that holding company structure to offset your taxes so you can put more of your hard earned work money to work to make yourself wealthy. That's what we're doing. The link's below. 
the price goes up in September. Also, I'm gonna make you financially strange. I'm gonna make you very, very strange. You're gonna be so strange that you, you know what? Your folks may not even recognize you anymore. So go below and get that. And I will see you guys in the next Financially Strange video.